Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to Books My Quiet Friends. My name's Sydney and today I'm here to bring you my February wrap up. I know this is a little late, but I wanted to post everything where I had red hair before we got back to whatever this color is. Because it just kind of seemed weird if I was going to alternate hair colors. But anyways, without further ado, here's what I'm reading and what I read last month. My current read physically is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I am 376 pages in. I'm also reading Into the Still Blue on audiobook by Veronica Rossi. I think I'm about halfway through that one. I'm enjoying it. I'm just getting confused because they're two dystopian universes and there's a lot of action in both. So I'm going to try and finish this one and then Into the Still Blue. I hope. This past month I managed to read seven books, six physical books, and one audiobook. Fortunately my audiobook reading this month was not the best. The first book I read this month was Me Before You by Jojo Moise. This was an extremely popular book for a long period of time. Um, it's a romance and I'm not usually into the romance genre so I wasn't surprised that I wasn't giving it the highest of ratings. I ended up giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. But I am interested in Lou as a character and I'm curious to see where her story goes. I do plan to continue this series but it's not a top priority for me. I think I'd rather listen to it on audiobook than pick up the physical book for the next two books. Does that make sense? <laughs> the next book you've seen me rave about in the last two videos I did and that is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This honkin' book just blew my mind. Five out of five stars. One of my favorite reads of this year and maybe of all time. I don't wanna... Mm, I don't wanna jinx myself because I'm planning on reading the rest of the series but I really enjoyed this installment. I thought it was interesting, it was fast-paced, there were lots of things that were happening, lots of characters, political intrigue. Yes there are parts where I think Things get a little too intimate, vicious, everything too fast. There is rape, there is sexual assault, there is physical assault. But I also would like to note that in the time period where this story takes place, I don't know what other people are expecting. Maybe the author didn't have to go into it so explicitly, but knowing based on other people's reviews that those things were part of this book, I kind of anticipated it and I think that it was done in a way that made sense to the storyline. I'm not saying that it's okay that those things happen, I'm just saying that it made sense for where the story was going. Tell me your thoughts if you've read this. Do you think it's outlandish or do you... <laughs> or do you think it's, it's fine, like it's the time period, that's what happened. The next physical book I read was Salt of the Sea by Ruta Petty's. My edition unfortunately has the scrape on it. I gave, <laughs> I gave this 4 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed it and I was shocked that I'd never heard about this tragedy before. I loved the author's writing just because she wasn't afraid to tell it how it was. She didn't stray away from things that would make people uncomfortable. In fact, it almost seemed like she was purposefully pointing out things that you might not know that would make you uncomfortable and make you really think about our past. Um, based on this book, I would definitely read more work from the author and I look forward to reading some more and maybe suggesting one of her books for my book club in the coming months. So if you have ever seen my blog or whatever, you know that I try not to give low ratings often, but this book, I gave one out of five stars. When It Happens by Suzanne Colasanti. This has been sitting on my shelf for a long time. I'm pretty sure 2006 was its publication year. Um, I didn't like it at all. I thought the characters were annoying. I thought that it had harmful portrayals of body types and stereotypes. There were tons of tropes that I just did not agree with. So many things that happened that I just sat there and shook my head at. It took everything in me not to DNF this book. I do not plan on reading anything else by the author because everything else I've seen kind of has similar covers and I just don't think her writing is for me. If you've ever read something by her that's like your favorite and this one's just like a downfall, I would really love to know but this was a huge disappointment. <laughs> After When It Happens I ended up listening to The Golden Compass by Philip Pullman on audiobook. It was the book for my book club this month 
and I gave it a 3.75 out of 5 stars. I really enjoyed the audiobook. It's a full cast audiobook and it was very interesting. It kind of helped with the writing because I found when I was trying to read the physical book for the first little while that Philip Pullman's writing was very long-winded and I don't do well with things like that so it was a little tricky for me. But when I listened to the audiobook, I was able to tell who was who, who was speaking, what was happening, and the characters were just exactly how I imagined them. Um, I also think that I will not be continuing with this series just because of the religion aspect in it. I'm not a religious person personally, and I just... I don't really see the point in continuing the series. It didn't blow me away. It was just kind of okay for me. I can see why people enjoyed it, but... It wasn't my favorite read, so I think that the rest of those books will just remain unread for me. <laughs> I read First Life by Gina Schwalter. I gave this two out of five stars. This book deals with a world where after you die you get a second life. So your first life is kind of just a trial run, but when you're 18 you're supposed to have chosen either Myriad or... Myriad or Trochia. Yeah, I don't know how to say it. But anyways, you're supposed to have chosen one of these two options, and they believe vastly different things. Myriad believes that the weaker to be abhorred and the stronger to be adored. I'm pretty sure that's said multiple times in this story. Whereas Trochia believes that what is good for one is good for everyone, and justice is important for all, and forgiveness is very important. Which I think was a very interesting concept, and that's what really drew me to buying this book. But when I started reading it, I started to realize how much religion was placed in this. I don't know if I liked it. Like, there was, I thought at first that it would just be a very much, like, choosing what you would believe for yourself, whatever. But this author made it very clear that there was a right and a wrong choice for our character. And I just didn't feel like that needed to happen. Also, there was unnecessary romance. It just was a lot of things that I was disappointed by. I don't plan on continuing this series. This will be donated shortly, but fortunately this just was not for me. Also, I looked up Gina Schwalter and everything else she's written for the most part is like romances with some slightly corny novel covers, so I just think that maybe her writing and I don't get along. We'll see. Maybe in the future. And the last book I read this month was Leviathan by Scott Westerfield. I went into this book expecting not to really like it, but then I got 100 pages in and I was hooked. There are illustrations. There's a very interesting world where there's clankers and then beasties or like um, the Darwinists. And the Darwinists use... Uh, I don't know how to explain it. The Darwinists kind of use animals that have evolved or been pushed to evolve in their lives. So, for example, Leviathan is like a whale ecosystem thing. Whereas the Clankers use robots and like walkers. Like, I almost imagine it like a Star Wars walker thingy, you know, from that movie. Yeah, I'm so into Star Wars. So, I thought that I wasn't really gonna like this, especially after jumping out of another book that I didn't like, but. I really enjoyed it. I gave it four out of five stars. And I plan to continue the series. And I'm very interested in our characters. The one thing that I did not like was there seems to be leading to a romance that is not necessary. Not everything has to have a romance. I was fine with these two characters just getting along, having a good time. I was good with it. But when romance started to be introduced slowly but surely, like don't get me wrong, it's slow burn. I just kind of sighed and went, why? It didn't need to be there. It just felt like something that got put there for a marketing strategy. If that makes sense? I just... Sometimes things don't need romance in them. <laughs> there we go. But anyways, I will be continuing with the series, I hope, very soon. I really enjoyed it. It's very interesting if you're looking for something that is steampunk. I would recommend it. So those are all the books I read this February. I hope you guys had a great reading month. What was your favorite read? What was your least favorite read? What's the lowest rating you've ever given something? And why? Tell me. I'm very curious because I feel kind of guilty about giving that rating. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great week and we will see you next time. Bye!